everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello again my name is Julia and I am a Philadelphia based flight attendant I am a little nervous but I am also very 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 excited for tonight's trip hi if you haven't met her yet this is Miss Luna she is our golden retriever I wish I could put Luna in my suitcase and take her with me when I was in San Francisco, I gave you guys a little bit of a hint during that vlog as to where I was going. So I will give you guys one hint for my next trip. So I leave in one week and one day from now to a country that starts with the letter S. And most of you guessed Spain, which is a really good guess, but that's not it. I need to put my uniform on, finish packing my bag, and get all of my stuff together because we are going to Zurich, Switzerland. Good morning, everybody from Zurich, Switzerland. I cannot believe that I'm here right now. I know I've said that a few times on my channel where I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm here right now. But really, I cannot believe I'm here right now. This is so cool. I just got dressed to head out for the day. Let me show you guys the bathroom. Everything looks really nice. Our flying time last night to this morning was seven and a half hours, but we actually got in really early, like half an hour early. So I think it might have been around seven hours even. And then we have one queen size bed. And then out my window, you can see all of those houses in the mountain. That is so cool. We totally lucked out because it is a beautiful day here right now. It's partly cloudy, but by midday, it's going to be sunny and in the 80s. The weather being so nice makes me that much more excited to get out and explore too. Also, I've never been here before. Here is my passport stamp. This is country number 27 for me. I am just about ready to go. I bought these new sunglasses, so I'm gonna wear them today. And right now, I am about to take the tram to the historic area. It's called Old Town Zurich, and I think we're gonna spend the day there. I just got my ticket. I am sitting on the tram, and I'm really hoping that I'm going in the right direction. I bought the 24 hour pass just to be safe and it was 880, so we'll see how much that is in US dollars. Actually, duh, I can just look that up on my phone and that is actually $9.95 for US dollars and that's for 24 hours on the trim. tram and now I am sitting in a cafe that is actually in the middle of like a bunch of different train stations which looks pretty cool. Anyway, I got a croissant and a cappuccino. The stop that I got off at is called Bellevue and this is where the guy at the front desk of my hotel told me to get off because he said this is a really good starting point to see a lot of different sites. I am so ready to go do my sightseeing today but I had to stop to get a bite to eat because I am so hungry. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Switzerland, specifically Zurich, I believe is known to be one of the most expensive cities in the world. So while I'm here, I thought it would kind of be fun to tell you guys how much I'm spending on things. This cappuccino and this croissant was $10. I take that back. It was 10 Swiss franc and it was $11.30 US dollars. This croissant has vanilla custard in it. 
and it is so good. It was a short walk from the cafe that I was at, but now I am standing in front of the Zurich Opera House. And I don't know if I have ever told you guys this, but my boyfriend Eric is half Swiss. So his dad was born in Neuchâtel, Switzerland, and his mom was born in the US. His mom was a ballerina growing up. She actually danced at Juilliard's. And then when she graduated, she actually danced for the Swiss Ballet here in Zurich. And this opera house is where she, I believed, would train and perform. Eric actually lived in Switzerland in the Chatel his junior year of high school, and he played soccer here. So I just think that is so cool. And one day we're hoping that we can take a trip there together so I can see where he lived and where he played soccer and all of that good stuff. I really wish he could have joined me on this trip, but he had work. So he had to be home, but I am still just so grateful to be here, especially on this gorgeous day. Days, I used to think I'm the problem, that I was way too sensitive, reacting way too much, until I realized we were different types, carrying a different triggers, scaring us to death. Obviously, I don't know everything geographically here because it's my first time here and also I'm really bad with directions and geography. But anyway, in the middle of, I believe, what separates Old Town and the area that I was at is this beautiful river that has all of these sailboats along it and there's all of these swans and ducks in the water and then in the distance you can also see some mountains and it is just stunning and then also all along the river there's a walkway so you see people walking and running and pushing their kids in strollers and just enjoying the beautiful day this is that walkway i was talking about it's right next to the river so you have stunning views on your walk I genuinely think I could just sit out here for hours soaking up all of the sunshine. It feels amazing. But there are some more things that I want to go do. And you guys, when I was sitting kind of like how I am now, but buy some flowers, I set up my phone on my purse to try to take some pictures because I always try to get pictures from my travels and a lot of times I have to go out by myself. So I have had to come up with some very creative ways to get photos. But this guy came up and he just asked if he could take photos of me on my phone. He was just was super nice and took a bunch of really good photos. And yeah, that like hardly ever ever happens. Usually I have to take them on my own or I have to ask a stranger. He just left after he took the photos and I said thank you. It was awesome. <laughs> See what I mean? Like couldn't you just sit out here for hours? It is so peaceful. But there's a few churches that I would like to see so we better get going. see a very touristy shop up here so I think I'm gonna stop and see if I can find a magnet because I didn't see anywhere at the airport after we landed where I could buy one tomorrow and I want to make sure that I get one before I leave cute little souvenir shop so let's go check it out and would you look at this I already found a bunch of magnets to choose from this is hard there's so many good ones already look at all of these plates and these mugs These magnets are even better. I'm going to get one of these. The Bernice Mountain Dog is everywhere. 
so cute. I would love to have one one day. I'll show you guys when I get back to the hotel, but from that gift shop, I bought three bookmarks, one for myself, my mom, and my best friend Tiffany, and a magnet, and the total for all of this was 35 US dollars. I was in shock. That was the most expensive thing that I have bought so far today. I'm glad I didn't buy one of those mugs. That would have cost me probably like $100 or something, but honestly, it's worth it because I knew going into this layover that things were going to be on the more expensive side and it's also about the memories and you know having those souvenirs with me i feel like you always see these scooters in movies it's so fun just walking around and seeing all of the colorful and pretty buildings one of my favorite things about being in europe is walking along the cobblestone streets along with all of the beautiful architecture it just makes you feel like you're back in time Okay, so looking at the GPS on my phone, I am almost in Old Town, which is, if it'll focus, right there. And then I am where that blue flashing dot is. This entire area that I've been walking around today is probably all Old Town. So if you are from here or if you have been here, don't flame me in the comment section. I'm doing my best, okay? But what I want to do now is walk along this street right here by the river because I guess there's really good shopping and restaurants. The current plan is to meet up with some of my crew members for dinner tonight, but I am hungry. All I've eaten today is that croissant and that cappuccino. It's really hot out. I've been walking around for a while, so I'd like to grab some lunch. I've seen so many of these fountains while walking around. I think that is so nice. I came to this restaurant called Santa Lucia and the waiter gave me a seat right by a window. It is so nice. So this is where I'm sitting and I'm right next to this open window. Looking at the menu, I definitely think I'm gonna need to get the Luna white wine just because why not? And I am in the mood for pizza. So hopefully they have a margarita or something like that. They have it right there. So that is exactly what I'm going to get. My wine just got here. It tastes very good. And I was looking at the health app on my phone. And so far today, I have already walked 12,805 steps. I'm having a very good and active day. Right next door, there is a place to get gelato, so of course I had to get some. I got chocolate chip. Mm. That is delicious. Okay, so I'm going to eat my gelato, and then I need to decide what I want to go do next. My pizza was good, don't get me wrong, and I love pizza, but I would have loved to have had raclette or fondue, but here's the thing, that's not really like a one person kind of meal. That's more of a minimum of two people kind of meal or a group family type of meal because both of those is just so much food that there's no way that I would be able to eat it all by myself and then it kind of would be a waste of money. So I just need to wait until next time when hopefully I can be here with more people. There's this raclette place right here that I almost went to. Oh, keeping on track with how expensive it is here, my lunch today I think was about 28 US dollars and then I did not check to see how much the gelato was but I think it was around four or five US dollars. I have now walked down to the Swiss National Museum and unfortunately I think they're closed today but I still wanted to come by here to see the building and it is beautiful. I love how pretty much anywhere you go here there's an outdoor cafe for you to sit and eat at.
I am actually at the grocery store called Co-op right now. And funny enough, I love visiting grocery stores in other countries. I love seeing how they set everything up. Oh my gosh, these pizzas look so good. If I lived here, I would buy one of these and bring it home with me. The real reason why I am here though is because I'm on the hunt for chocolate. Eric was telling me that you can find really good chocolate that's not gonna totally rip you off, even just at the grocery store, instead of one of the tourist places in the town. All right, I have secured the good chocolate. Back in my hotel room now, the sun is starting to set. Let me show you guys some of the fun stuff that I bought. So Eric told me that this is his favorite chocolate, this Ragusa Classic. So I got him two boxes of that. I got my parents some milk chocolate. I got myself some of this strawberry white chocolate. It just looks delicious as well as white chocolate. White chocolate is my favorite. I was really excited about that. And then Eric's mom loves dark chocolate, so I got her one of these. And then, oh yeah, here's the other one that I got for Eric as well. These are the three bookmarks that I got. Last but not least, this is the magnet that I picked up. I just got out of the shower. Now I am laying in bed. I am exhausted, but it's such a good feeling to feel this exhausted after exploring all day. I feel like I really accomplished something. Like I went out into a country that I've never been to before and I tried to see as much and do as much as I could in one day. But with that said, I loved it here. I had an absolute blast and I cannot wait to come back. Like I want to pick up as many Zurich layovers as as possible. Watch, I'm saying this and then I'm not going to be back here for like another year, which can happen as a flight attendant, but you never know. So I'm going to ask you guys if you have been here, if you live here, or if you are familiar with the area, what is like a day trip and something really cool that I could go do within just the one day that I have here on a layover for next time? Also, do you guys have any other old town recommendations like restaurants, other fun things to do? Because obviously I tried to do as much as I possibly could in one day, but it's impossible to do everything <laughs> in one day, obviously. It felt really good to be back in Europe, and I have another European flight attendant trip in two and a half weeks to a different country, and it is also a place that I have never been to before. All right, let's look at the final stats before I go to bed. So today I walked a total of 17,516 steps. I have said it before and I will say it again, the best way to see a city while also getting exercise in is to just get out and walk it. Oh, also, if any of you are still interested in knowing about how much money I spent while I was here, we went to the restaurant called Alexis Restaurant and Wine Bar. It was really good, and I had the pork schnitzel and spätzle, and that was 25 francs, and then I had a bottle of water, and that was, oh, that was five francs, so it was about 30 francs total. Oh my goodness. Hello, Miss Lena. Hi, baby. As you all can tell, I am back home now. Hi, Miss Lena. And here is my Zurich magnet on the fridge. In my last clip, you guys saw Luna carrying Eric's shoe, which is nothing new. But I just wanted to let you all know that Luna has upgraded, okay? She is carrying everything for me now. Lately, she has been carrying my gym bag when I get home. And then she has also been carrying my books. 
She is the true definition of a retriever and it is absolutely adorable. But I did wanna come on here and just thank you all for watching this video. If you did like it, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see you again in future videos. I hope that you all are having a fabulous day and I'll see you next time.